must be a disappointing amount of ball you had in the second half that you couldn't really turn that turn that into uh, to chances and goals. Yeah, I think um, you know I've just said in there from the uh, Kidderminster game really um, not playing well at all to um, putting in the type of performance we've put in today in terms of creating chances and working hard. Um, you know we're disappointed. I mean, like, sort of, I think they've had two shots on goal all game with the penalty and the, the save in the second half. With due respect, I think we've had something like 25 shots. Um, so yeah, disappointed. Apart from that save he made in the first half, and finally their keeper. Do you think you just didn't test him enough in the second half? Yeah, I mean we've had, we've got into good areas, and, and you know we, we haven't at the time got shots off. Um, but you know, listen. You know, we've created chance after chance after chance, you know, had loads of possession. I thought we were really brave on the ball and I thought we'd responded from certainly from Tuesday in the right way that I wanted to and um, let's be honest about it, we just couldn't score and uh, for, for me we were a far better team but unfortunately it's, it's, football's about scoring goals and um, we couldn't score today. They took one of their chances, one of their two chances and um, we find ourselves without any points. And do you think it's it's harder for yourself as a manager after a defeat like this to than on Tuesday? Because obviously you say Tuesday there was you know there's things you can point out and you know is it harder when you lose games like this? I suppose it is in a way because you know the amount of, the amount of possession we've had and chance we've had and, and created um, and it's a, a little bit more difficult to to accept. But on the other hand, you know I'd far I'd be. I'm far happier in defeat today than I was on Tuesday. If, there, if yeah. there is a ever, a, you know, being happy about a defeat, I mean, like sort of in the manner we went about things today, I thought we were bright. I thought we passed the ball well. I thought we were brave and wanting to get on the ball. You know, I thought we were full of energy, um, but just couldn't score. Um, and I've just said in there, you know, I don't think the performance was any dissimilar to the Southport game. Whereas, like you know, Richard Pennicutt's curling one from 25 yards into the top corner. And, Today didn't really get a shot off other than, you know, in the first half I thought we tested the keeper two or three times. Second half, you know, we wouldn't get a shot off quickly enough for me and it was that extra touch. And then we're getting closed down and again, you know, the amount of possession we've had and the amount of corners we've had and long throws, we've put them under long a lot of pressure. But a fair play to them, they've defended well and they've got bodies behind the ball and threw themselves at the ball when they needed to. Keepers made a couple of crucial saves, particularly in the first half. But, you know, I'm never happy to lose a game of football. You know, I'm a manager, you know what I mean? Um, you know, my staff are never happy to lose a game of football and all their players, but uh, we asked for a response from Tuesday, I think, in terms of the performance and the work ethic, we've got it. But again, we will find ourselves on the wrong end of the result. And in terms of Ben as well, he's going to serve his second suspension of the season now. You know, is it you know, sort of frustrating for yourself because obviously he's such a talented player being caught up by England, but obviously the cards are, you know, they're becoming a problem now. Yeah, like, like I just said to Ben, you know, he. he as a player, it's great when you're getting all the plaudits and, um, you know, he, he, he's done okay. You know, I've never been getting carried away with this performance, if I'm going to be honest with you, because I judge people over, you know, a career of five, six, seven hundred games or, you know, a 46-game season. And at the moment, you know, he's got he's got to learn. And, you know, there's no excuses. It's a second book of the fence. He's not dealt with the, the ball over the top. And, uh, unfortunately, you know, they're the things that cost you. And now he's got a situation where, again, he's going to be serving a suspension. If somebody comes in and does well, you have to deal with it. Um, that's just the learning curve he's on at the moment. You know, we're not expecting miracles from him, but what we are expecting is to try and keep him on the pitch. Oh, fantastic.